Introduce my name. My name is Mrs. Etono Florence Emike. And my, my channel is Madame Flores Talk Show. So today I have a topic to discuss with you, my friends. Before I go, I will not forget to tell you, my friends, please go to my channel, subscribe, like, comment, turn the notification bell on so whenever I upload new video, so that you will be notified about my new video. I really appreciate you all for watching. Keep on watching. May my God bless you and your household in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. So today I have a topic to share with you people. What is this topic? The topic is how do you start your day? Yes. So um and it's taken from Psalm 1 for 30 verse 8 says, Let I read in Jesus' name, let the morning bring me word of your unfailing love for i have put my trust in you show me the way i should go for to you i lift up my soul yes yeah, so you see what this particular verse is telling me and you today that every morning what should we do how do we start our morning it is always good every morning for us to start with god Every of our morning, we have to start by praising God, by thanking God, by appreciating God for all He has done in our life. So, because it's always good when you praise God and, and thank Him for all He has done. When you appreciate Him, He will do more in our life. Because this, that, uh, this particular verse is really telling me that, that is, um, He said, start your day by giving thanks to God. For what he has done for you I mean and pray to God to bless you so that you can be blessed others yes yeah, so if you pray to God to bless you and when God bless you never you forget to bless other people yeah because by doing that God is going to increase you more God is going to perfect all your imperfection by uh, by doing what God said in his Bible in, in his words his word according to the bible and also it's also telling us that for example you see in the morning a lot of people will wake instead of them to lay down and say oh god i really thank you appreciating you for all you have done the first thing they will start you see that they will start checking their phone they will start looking scrolling, scrolling their phone checking their phone or some we decide to start calling their relative or calling their friends or to start talking to one another without praying to God. So this particular verse is telling me today that we should always start our days by praising God. We should always start our day by prayer before we go to any of our activities of the day. Because if you commit your activity you have in that day in the hand of Lord, you see that everything you ask on that day shall be given unto you yes so actually as a child of god after you pray there may be some kind of temptation so what should we do you still have to still keep praying because god is our one son god, god always answer our prayer whenever we call upon him whenever we, we, we ask god he always answer us and also he's also telling me that today that never you worry about your circumstance God is taking control of it. Every of our circumstance, every of our situation, God is taking care of all those uh, problems. He's been handling them. Our good don't know the appropriate time for that problem to vanish in our life. We should not question him because that is the word I say. A delay is not a denial. In that appropriate time, that good thing we are looking for, God is going to give it to me and you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. What we should always do, please always pray. Commit your daily activities in the hand of our Lord Jesus. Pray before you go to bed. After you wake, pray again and let God will be done before you go to your daily activities. And also, it's also telling me also that God has created a new day 
and he wants us to enjoy it. Yeah, God is going to have created a new day in our life. He wants, really wants us to enjoy that day that He created as we are the children of God. So it's all it's less for us for us to, to make the use of that day in a good way. And also, He said, in every situation that upset upset you, just come down, have peace, have peace of mind, because God is our worst son. Yes, in every day, just have peace of mind. God is our worst son. He is a God. He's going to answer me and you. Amen. So it's also telling me and you today that no matter what happened during our lifetime, we can be sure that God is working everything out for us for good. Yes, in everything our, in our life, we should know that God is working that that problem we have, that difficulty we have, and now that God is is making that 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 problem to be perfect in our life. And also, it's also telling me and you today that. That um that no matter when you learn to set our mind on God each morning, we we have to give we have to give you all the peace on God each day. Yeah, what is it telling us that when you have peace of mind that God is going to give you peace on each day because you have that peace, because you have that joy. He said He will He will give us peace, He will give us peace and joy. We need that we need that to love to love one another every day in our life. Yeah, God is going to set give us that his peace of mind. God is going to perfect every of our situation, is going to make that thing we are looking for to be perfect. In every of our condition, every morning, never you allow any condition you are to weigh you down. If because of one thing or other you keep on uh, depressed, you will say you will not praise your God anymore, you will not thank him for the word he has. They have done for you before it is always good for us to thank god it is always good for us to praise god every morning never you forget to praise to god pray to god praise him and thank him for all he have done and what he's about to do for me and you he's a great god we appreciate him we say may his name be glorified may his name be exalted in the mighty name of jesus christ amen so my dear brothers and sisters what i'm trying to say here who should always try to appreciate God in morning, in the evening, before we go to bed, after we wake, every time, every minute, whatever we are, any condition, any situation we are, we should always appreciate God. As we appreciate Him, He's going to do more for us. As we thank Him and leave and leave everything in the hands of our Lord Jesus, He's going to answer me and you today in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. So, my friends, yeah, thanks, thanks, thanks. So I'm at the conclusion of this uh, my wonderful topic. So it is always good for us to know that we have to always start our day by praising our good Lord. It is always good for us to know that when you appreciate God, He will do more for you. Yeah. So never allow you the stress of life to say no. I'm not going to praise God today. Never you allow your day how the day goes. You say ah. Let me just sleep off. There is no God. There is God. He is a God. He cannot disappoint us. So always keep happy. Because if you are happy of the day, that day is going to be smoothly. If you keep yourself sad, you see that that day you will be sad through art. So let God will be done and live your life. Thanks. And also, I will not forget to ask you all, how is the coronavirus? in the country you are so i hope you all are coping with it please always put on your mask whenever you want to go out protect yourself okay let our good lord will be done so my dear friends keep on watching my channel madam plus it talk show thank you thank you thank you keep on watching and oh my god bless you all in the mighty name of jesus christ amen so i remain your humble mrs eton florence filmmaking and my channel name is Modern Flossy Talk Show. Keep on watching. One love. Bye. See you next time.